YTBC what's the deal so commenter JD asked me behind Ortiz who are the top rated southpaws so JD I can tell by that comment already feels that my man Cuban powerhouse Luis Ortiz is the top rated southpaw and I, you know, I have to agree with that also by what I've seen um, you can throw guys, you know, in there. Jason Bergman, they have him as a top-rated southpaw. He just fought uh, Joseph Parker. Um, Amir Mansoor, Arthur Spilka, even Mike Perez, Tony Thompson. You got Antonio Tarver lurking around. Um, quite a few southpaws out there. I know Box Rec list about, I think last time I was on there looking during the Parker-Bergman fight, about 70 southpaws probably, but... Um, Donovan Davis is a kid that I've seen fight, um, uh, Jarrell Big Baby Millie is another southpaw, uh, Francisco Pianata, another southpaw. There's quite a few out there at heavyweight right now, but the, the next rated guy to me, some of you may say is Charles Martin, just simply because he has an IBF strap. I would disagree with that. I will go with my man, Ruslan Chagayev. Now I know Chagayev is an older fighter. You know, pushing 40 years old, he is in that uh, WBA tournament, and he would be getting ready to take on my man Lucas Brown, undefeated Aussie. Um, I'm gonna go with Ruzan Chigayev until I see him get totally knocked off, and um, I have him my have him in my top five heavyweights right now rankings. You know, based on where he is right now and what he's done so far in his career, because it's still relevant. You know, some of the guys that he's lost to, they're still relevant. And some of his best wins, some of those guys are still relevant. So everything is still relevant. You know what I mean? And uh, only two losses is a decision, a good, close, competitive fight against Alexander Povetkin, and then a loss to Klitschko. You know what I mean? But um, wins over Ruiz, a 2006 version of Ruiz, at least, uh, took Nikolai Valuev's O. Although you can argue Valuev, you know, probably lost to Holyfield. Some few other fights, but took his undefeated record. You know what I mean? Um, he's beaten some of the same journeymen that some of these other guys beaten. Cali Meehan. Um, 2010 version of Meehan. We know Meehan's best work was 2004, somewhere around there. Travis Walker, those type of guys. Even uh, took a few undefeated uh, prospects. I forgot the guy's names. Undefeated records he's took. So, Ruzan Chigaya, man. Even the wins over Freza Kendo. Uh, Freza Kendo is in the WBA tournament. I heard one guy say, what? Freza Kendo is in the tournament? What the hell? But he's still around, and Chigayev beat him. You know, um, Pianata, his only loss was to Chigayev and Klitschko. You know, another world championship uh, level uh, contender. So, just for what I've seen, his skill set, uh, you know, just his, his defense, his footwork. And he's a small guy for heavyweight division, 5'11". You know, with a 74-inch reach, and uh, he can make guys miss, and he has fast hands, and he's mobile. You know, those are his best assets. He's not much to look at as far as being physically imposing. He's not, you know, uh, eye-popping or anything, but to me, he's the second-best softball. You know, but if you go by resume, I think he's the, um, probably say he has the third-best resume at heavyweight. You could probably argue that. I'll say Vladimir, then Pavekin, and then Chigayev. As far as recent heavyweights i probably has the third best resume you can probably argue that but i probably rate him as the second best um southpaw now you some of you may say like i said charles martin but charles martin still has more to prove to me just having the ibf strap just isn't enough i mean you, yeah you want it vacant against glasskoff you know but i still need to see a little bit more but he you know a little bit more physically imposing a lot, a lot of these guys are more physically imposing than ruzlan chagayev so Again, Chagai is not the most physically imposing. Even Arthur Spilka looks pretty decent as a southpaw. Um, good hand speed. Uh, ambush type fighter, but he can be a little bit patient. He fought some good rounds against Deontay Wilder before he got put to sleep. But, you know, um, Otto Wallen is in training camp with uh, Anthony Joshua. A nice young Swedish southpaw. So, I mean, there's some guys there, but I say that the top two guys, in my opinion, Luis Ortiz and uh, Ruslan Chagayev by far. But I hope that answers your question. YTBC, I'm out.